Hi everyone, what's up? This is Victoria. Welcome to my channel. Please feel free and grab your coffee. Today we're going to talk about one of the reasons why you're just struggling to remember the things that you've been studying. Hermann Nebinghaus was a German psychologist, which he focused on his forgetting curve theory and it led to many things we know nowadays. This is going to sound a little bit obvious, but trust me, it's thanks to him that we have this awareness. Binghaus found out that when we study a content for the first time, obviously, we're not able to remember it very well. However, if we keep reviewing and studying that, we're going to have a better access to this information in our mind, which means if you study one day before the exam, you're not going to remember. You're not going to remember because you've just seen the content. However, if you study a little bit every day, you're going to remember. What is the problem? When we study for just one single thing, rather we have several subjects to study. They're all very different from each other. They have different levels of difficulties and so on. So you have to accept that some contents are going to come in your mind easily and others not that much. First thing I want to talk about is the beginning and the ending. The beginning and the ending of the contents are usually the parts we remember the most. Everything that is in the middle, we don't quite remember that well. The first words are the first things we see and the last ones are the ones that we retain better in our head. Write on a paper everything that you remembered and everything that lasted about that content and see how much you actually retained about this information. How much do I know about the beginning of the subject and the last things, the last topics, right? Second thing, assimilation. I did an experiment with my friend and as I mentioned several words to him, the first and the last words, as I mentioned before, was the ones that he retained better. Also, the ones that were part of his lifestyle. River, tree, flower, animals, father. These words in which he assimilated, he remembered them better than the ones that were not part of his lifestyle. So, how can you try to put this subject into your lifestyle? When I study, I read out loud because I cannot just read silently in my head, otherwise I get distracted. I try to read out loud. After that, I explain to myself and then I need to have examples. If I don't have examples, I'm not going to be able to retain it, which comes to number three. Try to get examples. Try to put this what you're learning in your daily life or in the practice. How does it work? Number four, quiz yourself. If you don't quiz yourself, it's going to be harder for you to get in the level of questions you're probably going to have in your exam. So yes, these were some quick tips for you to have in your day that it's going to be able to help you to remember faster. I hope you liked it. Let me know in the comments.